by. I... What is up YouTube? This is Nanashi with a brand new deck profile video, but with a bit of a twist because it's not my deck we're going to be profiling. I haven't done a guest profile in a while, and a friend of mine named Nupata, or as he pronounces himself, Nupula, happens to be an old friend of mine and a local card player alongside me. Except he's a bit more into the competitive scene, so he has different decks than I do. And he's running a super heavy samurai deck with an interesting tech in the form of the kaijus. Now anybody who's listened to any of my previous videos knows about my opinion regarding teching kaijus into anything unusual, but even I have to admit the way he utilizes them is a little bit clever. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand the video over to my friend, Nupata. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nupula, and today I am with, uh, no, uh, Nanashi. I'm sorry, I can never get his name right. But uh, he's going to be recording for me while I show this deck profile of Super Heavy Samurai, which is for post uh, link format and post whatever the new set came out for these guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. The first of all, we're going to use two turtles. Now, essentially, he's a level eight, and I'll explain why he's going to be used here. But you're going to want to use two turtles for this. And three of the machine guy, which is, he's a level 10. Uh, these are very important for his build now because of the new support that we've gotten. So, and next we go into three battle balls. Now, what's going on here is that one battle ball is a tuner. So, he's level 2 tuner and everything like that. And he has a special ability to allow you to synchro summon with uh, your opponent's monsters so long as they have a level. Now, with the kaijus that I've shown, they are 8 and 10. The 8 allows me to go into the level 10 monster, so that way I can start grave robbing their spells and trap cards from their graveyard. The level 10 gets into the level 12 guy, which is the new Super Heavy Samurai Synchro that we got, which I will show eventually. But he's now important for the deck, more than he was before. So, And, of course, one Super Heavy Samurai uh, Big Ben, I at least like the idea of having one of their boss monsters in here because there's a lot of stuff that can get him out as quickly as possible and a 3500 defender that can attack in defense mode and apply its attack power is kind of ridiculous. One uh, Super Heavy Samurai Blue bra Brawler, it's a stall tactic for the most part. Uh, he can't be destroyed by battle, so he's a 2000 defense. If I have the uh, Big Ben on the field, he also allows me to have the other Super Heavy Samurais attack in the fence as well. So. Now, Super Heavy Samurai Fist. Now, he does two particular things. One is that he's able to be special summoned from the graveyard by targeting a Super Heavy Samurai uh, Synchro Monster, lower its level by one and special summon himself, so that way he can go into another Synchro play. And the other one is not as important, but if you battle with a super heavy samurai monster um, besides him, you can synchro during that battle phase. So now we go in the free Flutus. Flutus is pretty much, he is the protection for the super heavy samurais on the field, at least when it comes to targeting effects. But whenever he's on the field, you can trivia him off to special summon a super heavy samurai monster from your hand, regardless of level. And I run free of him because he's that important. Then we get into three of the Super Heavy Samurai uh, Giga Gloves. They are essentially to stop uh, direct attacks. And what happens when he's sent from the field, or when he's sent to the graveyard? You can look at the top five cards of your deck and choose cards from uh, from those five and put them in any order and place them back onto your deck. Whenever your opponent occurs a direct attack. You banish this from your graveyard, reveal one card from the top of your deck if it's a super heavy samurai monster. The attack monster's attack goes to zero, and you add that card to your hand. If not, it goes to the graveyard and you get screwed. So, next we have uh, super heavy samurai helper. He's a lot more important than fist, um, but he's still at a one of in the deck. What he does is Whenever a Super Heavy Samurai monster battles, I can discard this from my hand 
and select another super heavy samurai monster that's not battling and add its defense power to the defense power of the of the attacking monster. And whenever he's in the graveyard, if my opponent would direct attack me, I can banish him from the grave and especially summon a super heavy samurai monster from my graveyard regardless of level. So I can also bring out the synchro guys as well if they were properly synchro summoned. Next we get into one super heavy samurai magnet. He is basically the moronic captain of the group. He allows me to bring out a level 4 lower super heavy samurai monster from my hand and he goes in defense mode afterwards. And that's pretty much all he does, but he has to be normal summoned, so that's one of the reasons why he's a oh, only a one of here. But he does allow me to go into quick synchro plays if I need to. Like, and I can also go into battle ball and stuff like that and grab whatever my opponent has. So Then we have Super Heavy Samurai uh, Pepper Defender. Whenever I take uh, battle damage, I can special summon him from my hand. And for the rest of the turn, he cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. And he's just there so that way my opponent can't kill me. Then we got three Super Heavy Samurai Scales. The, he can be special summoned from your hand if your opponent controls two or more monsters on the field. Um, whenever he's normal or special summoned, you can grab a Super Heavy Samurai monster from your graveyard that's level four or lower and special summon it onto your side of the field in defense mode. Uh, essentially, he is the combo piece of the deck. He can allow you to go into whatever you need, either a tuner, you can go into other stuff that you might need that you might see in this deck, but you can also go into your soul pieces and all your soul pieces can connect from the field or hand to your super heavy samurai monster. So. One of my favorite cards and also the most obnoxious card in the game, super heavy samurai uh, soul bang cannon. Whenever he's a, uh, you can equip him from hand or field to a super heavy samurai monster, he gains an additional thousand defense. Uh, if this is in the grave and your opponent activates a card effect during battle with a defense, or when there's a super heavy samurai monster in defense mode on the field, you can banish this, destroy a minimum of one of monsters that are on the field, and send them to the graveyard, and do a thousand points of damage to, to me and to my opponent. Pretty much a black rose um, dragon effect, but it also does burn. Um, super heavy samurai uh, gauntlet. He is not as useful as he used to be, but he still does a OTK job when needed. Um, his equip effect is not as important, but what he does is when he's equipped to a Super Heavy Summer Monster, they increase their attack and defense by 500. And whenever my or whenever a Super Heavy Summer Monster is involved in battle, I can drop this from my hand and double his defense points until the end of the battle phase. One Super Heavy Samurai Soul Fire Suit, I think it says. You can equip this to a Super Heavy Samurai monster, its level, or its, its level becomes a level five. Uh, however, you can discard this from your hand and target a Super Heavy Samurai monster in defense mode, and it won't be destroyed by battle or by card effect that turn. So I only run one of this because you can easily search for him now. This is uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Horns. Um, Pretty much, you can equip him from hand or by field. You can also, once per turn, unequip him onto the field. But you equip him to the um, to a super heavy summon monster, and it does double attack. So that's always fun. Um, three peacemaker. One of the reasons that this deck exists now is because of this guy. Um, you can equip this to a super heavy samurai monster. Your opponent can only target this mo or the monster equipped to this for battle. You can tribute this off along with the monster equipped to it to special summon a super heavy samurai monster from your deck, regardless of level. So you can get Bing Ken out, you can get the battle ball or anything like that and just go combo heavy with it. And you can also equip this from the field so super heavy samurai scale can grab it from the grave, use it to unscale, bring out your big guys if need be which is kind of awesome. Then we go into Super Heavy Samurai Soul Pierce. He is very, very good. He's the recruiter. Whenever um, he's equipped to a Super Heavy Samurai monster, he does, the Super Heavy Samurai monster does piercing. And when it leaves the field and goes to the graveyard, you can search for a Super Heavy Samurai monster from your deck and add to your hand regardless of level. So you always run free of him and you can 
Also get him with scale, so that allows you to go into what you need. Two of the Super Heavy Samurai Fief. This is the Mystical Space Typhoon for the deck. Now, I want to say this at least. This will not kill field spell cards. This will only kill your back, the back row or the pendulums, which doesn't matter now because back row and pendulums are practically the same, but that's pretty much what he does. You can special summon this from your hand for the field regardless if you have any monsters, but uh, for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon anything else except for super heavy samurai monsters. But you trip them off, you hit a backfield or a pendulum monster, or pendulum scale I should say, and it will go to the graveyard, but you can grab it immediately and place it on your side. So it doesn't get the graveyard effects. Um, one uh, the Super Heavy Samurai Transporter. Uh, what he does is I can special summon from my hand um, onto the field. And of course he has the same restriction as Thief. For the rest of the turn you can only special summon Super Heavy Samurais. But what you can do is you can tribute him off and special summon up to two cards from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense mode. You can send practically anything that you don't need from your hand to your opponent's side, such as a Giga Glove, Soul Piercer, uh, even Big Ben, so that way you can go in the Battle Ball and just go into your level 10 guys. I mean, there is some really cool stuff with this. And then for the final monster in the deck, Super Heavy Samurai uh, Trumpeter. He is the best tuner we have in the deck right now. Um, the other tuners in there are alright, but they don't do what he does. Um, you can special summon this from your hand. It doesn't care what's on the field or anything like that. And ideally speaking, you can summon all three of these all at once. Um, it doesn't have a restriction or anything like that, but it does have a restriction. Once it's summoned, you can only special summon Super Heavy Samurai for the rest of the turn. But if you're playing this right, you don't care about that. If he's used for a tribute summoning for a super heavy samurai monster, he can be special summoned back from the graveyard. So you can send you can have two of these coming out, bring out big or big band by tribute summoning, and then they'll come back. So one of them can be used as a resource and the other one can just sit there unless you have another card that you want to put onto the field. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of the main deck monsters. We're going to go with the extra deck. Now, keep in mind, the extra deck is not my ideal setup, at least for the non-Super Heavy Samurai Monsters. However, for the non-Super Heavy Samurai Monsters in here, it's only because um, we don't have the resources right now. But I'm using one Black Rose Dragon. Uh, destroys the field whenever it's, when it's summoned to the field, not if. So you have to make sure you do this right, or else you'll miss timing on it. But that's essentially why it's got in here, is to blow up the field. Uh, Gaia Knight, the Force of the Earth. Uh, he's a normal monster, 2600 attack, level 6 synchro. Uh, he's just there to do battle and everything like that. And to watch out for Phoenix Chains, Phantom Knight, or the, the Phantom Knight Fog Blades and stuff like that. That nonsense. Uh, Leo, the Keeper of the Sacred Four or the Sacred Tree. He's a level 10 that can easily be summoned. Uh, if done right, and he doesn't require more more than two materials and everything. It's just a tuner and one non-tuner, so yeah. <laughs> and then we got Barkeon, which he negates traps by banishing uh, cards from your graveyard. Uh, Beast, he negates spells by sending cards from the deck from the top of the deck to the graveyard. And then now we go into the super heavies, super heavy samurai Beast QB. Um, whenever he synchros some, or whenever he's on the field, for every um, special summon monster on the field, he gains an additional 900 attack or 900 defense, I should say, for defense power and everything. And he uses the defense as attack, so he can get really big real quick. And then we have a Super Heavy Samurai Ninja. What he does is that he he does everything defense-wise in terms of attacking defense mode and everything. But once per turn during your player's turn, you can uh, target a spell or trap card on the field and destroy it and do 500 points to your opponent. Uh, granted, the, most of these effects have to have no spell or trap cards in your graveyard to pull it off. So uh, This is the level 6 of the Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. You know, I'm bad with names, so I'm running two of these. He's pretty much, he's synchro summon, he acts as a Harpy's Favorite Duster to your opponent. And he's 2,500 defense. 
and 500 attack, which means bottomless trap hole is not going to touch him. And then we have Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja. Once per turn, he can lower his attack or lower his defense by half and attack your opponent directly. So, and the new guy, the level 12 Super Heavy Samurai Steam Train King. Essentially, he can be easily summoned by using Battle Ball and a Kaiju level 10 monster to bring him out easily, so he bypasses the requirements. But once per turn, you can discard up to two cards from your hand to the graveyard to blow up that many cards your opponent controls. Secondary effect is also once per turn, you can banish all spell on trap cards in both graveyards and do 200 points of damage for each. And he's 4800 defense. He's pretty nice. And of course, we have the Super Heavy Samurai Warlord. What he does during either player's turn, I can grab a spell or trap card from the opponent's graveyard and add it to my side of the field. And whenever that uh, spell or trap card goes to the, or gets destroyed and sent to the grave or whatever, whatever it leaves the field and uh, wants to go to the grave, it'll get banished instead. So this is helpful to grab the field spells or any important cards that your opponent has and completely devastate them on it. So. And the last one is Trish. Need to say more on this. Uh, pretty much she's just there in case I can get a setup to where I can go into level 9 and devastate my opponent by banishing their resources. Other than that, um, not much to say. I mean, I've done a lot of practice with this deck. I like it. I wish Konami would release the level 5 Synchro guy to TCG. Please, for the love of God, do it. Um, I hope they also bring out a level 11 Super Heavy Samurai Synchro Monster. And there is a Super Heavy Samurai Monster we never gotten um, yet. It's a main deck monster which searches for our soul pieces whenever you activate its effect on the field. So I'm hoping we'll get him soon. But other than that, um, if we get everything that I'd like to see, I think this deck has the potential of being part of the meta. I don't see it as being a tier zero or anything like that, but I do see it as being a nuisance to my opponent. So, without further ado, my name is Nupula, and y'all have a good day. And this has been Nanashi, signing out.